Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell yo mama. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but a lot of fun. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get any print that you want, any print, on a t-shirt. Without the transfer paper, you don't need it. Throw it in the trash because we have a new way, an inexpensive way, and a fun way for you to get any photo on any shirt. Stay tuned. But before I do that, I really want to give a shout out to Tania or Tania. I don't know how to pronounce your name because we only talk through DM. But honestly, guys, I'm going to give you guys all the information so that you can have one of these amazing, unique paintings in your room, in your house, in your living room, in your bathroom, wherever you want to put it. I am still currently trying to figure out where I want to put it. But all I can say is she's amazing. This is amazing. And once I put it up, I'm going to show you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to her. I'm going to put all her information over here. And I'm also going to put all her information in the description. So if you want one of those, so all you're going to need for this is pictures and some t-shirts. So I'm going to put you guys on because this DIY cost me $5. Literally $5. So I got these t-shirts. All of these t-shirts from the dollar store okay i got them all from the dollar store and i got this oversized one because i wanted to make my pink one oversized one and i got them all from the dollar store real cheap then i went to staples and i spent 191 on my prints so I'm also going to be showing you guys how you can make your own collages because for me, I wanted it to be really unique, something that I know that no one else has on a shirt. And that was why I made my own collage. Okay, so the pictures that I decided to go with for my pink shirt, I created this Bratz collage and I made the original Bratz based off celebrities that we all know. So I thought that that was super cute and I can't wait to put this on a shirt. So basically what I did was go through Pinterest and find aesthetically pleasing photos. Um, this was before I realized, you know what, I can do the brats. And I went ahead and I used JLo, I used Paris Hilton, I used Kim, and I used Beyonce to create the brats. Secondly, I just put together some baddies and I put them on a shirt because why not? And I also added some butterflies because if you know me, I love butterflies. So we got... Kylie, Ashanti, and we got Kaylani. Okay, so you're going to use the App Pro Knockout so that you're able to take out whatever celebrity or person or picture that you want to use so you can just have the person with no background. I use an app called Over to collage all my photos. And for this photo, I decided to use Ashanti, Kylie Jenner's, I think it was her passport photo, and then just Kaylani, and then some butterflies because I love butterflies and sunflowers. And then this last one, which is my absolute fave, um, it's Obama where he was wearing a white tee. And I changed it to say fearfully and wonderfully, which comes from Psalms 139, 14, which says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So I can't wait to put that on a tee as well. Oh, one more shout out to Dollar Tree and they need to sponsor me. But look at this. I found three packs of socks, three for a dollar. So I got two of these, but I can't find the other one. <laughs> Well, this is embarrassing. I, I bought two packs for $2, which is six pair of socks, which is way, 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 way less than I ever spent. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. Wait, is it over here? Oh. I'm cheap. Okay, well, anyways, it's way less than I spend. So, go to Dollar Tree. So I searched with this photo of Obama with a white tee. I think his shirt said American Dream, so I wanted to erase that. I used this app called Airbrush to erase it. However, you have to pay um, to erase things on Airbrush, so I just screenshot at the photo and caught it a day. Then I went back into Over, and I put up Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. I took this from Pinterest, and it had a pink background, so I ended up taking it off so that it would go onto his shirt perfectly. So for this DIY, all you're going to need is your photos, some cling wrap, some parchment paper that I also got at Dollar Tree. Shout out to Dollar Tree. And some scissors to cut out your photos, obviously. So now you should have all your photos cut out perfectly. Well, kind of perfectly because I can't really cut, but it's lo que hay. 
So now we're gonna transfer our photo onto our shirt. So it's best if you place your shirt on a flat surface. Some people like to iron the shirt before putting on the photo, but I feel like it didn't make any difference, so I did not. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the cling wrap around the photo. You need to make sure the entire photo is wrapped in cling wrap, including the back. So after you do that, you're going to use your parchment paper and you're going to place it directly on top of your photo. And now you are ready to iron. Now this step is gonna take you a very long time it's gonna seem like i did this very quickly but it takes a good 10 to 15 minutes so enjoy so once you are confident enough to peel off the wax paper you can go right ahead and reveal your masterpiece i am very impressed by this it looks so good However, there are some secrets that people do not say in their videos, so I do want to let you guys know a few things. So, for starters, the corners are very hard to seal. I had to go back in a few times with some cling wrap because when the cling wrap melts, it becomes like a wax. And the wax is what will help um, your picture stick onto your shirt. So, if the corners are lifting, I would just say add some little bit of wax and put it on. Don't worry, you aren't the only one that that has happened to secondly i when i started this i was so worried about the corners not sealing that i kind of forgot about the middle so the middle was almost lifting a little bit like a bubble so when i went in i realized you know what you have to put time in not only just the corners but the inside the middle have the iron sit on it may take a very long while it looks fast on video but it takes a very long while okay lastly remember that this was not put on with transfer paper this was not put on using a machine where the picture will just soak into the shirt so you cannot wash this in your washer um because it will mess up the paper will probably just come right off um but for a diy it is very inexpensive it is super cute you can rock this everyone's gonna say where'd you get your shirt from and you can say that you made it so be unique have fun, have patience, because it takes a lot of patience, but you can do it. So I, I did want to come up here and tell you guys a little thing that I found out after wearing this shirt throughout the day. It did begin to lift a little bit. With that being said, this is sadly a one-time use type of thing, which I don't really think is a bad thing, as is, because this is something, if you're going to a concert, and you want the person's face on a shirt or you want to wear a graphic shirt or you want to wear your favorite lyrics you can make this shirt really quick it's very cheap it's not like you're wasting money and then you're good or for birthday parties everybody always wants to do you know the birthday boy's face or the birthday girl's face on a shirt and it's really expensive to get those shirts done you can literally do it yourself and it's one time use at the parties everyone has the face on they take all the pictures it really is worth it Secondly, or thirdly, fourthly, whatever one I'm on, it's fun, and I think that it's worth it. I lost $5, maybe, maybe not, because I have a cool shirt that I could wear once, and I just have to figure out where I want to wear it to and why, and that's it. Throw on a cute jean jacket, and you're good. So, I did want to let you guys know that quick disclaimer, because I don't want no one, you know, making a ton of these and then trying to sell them and jip people. So, don't get jipped, but I would say try it at home. It is really fun. Also, this is also something that you can do on sweats and sweatshirts. Let me know below if you want to see how you do it on sweatshirts and how you do it on sweatpants because it's just a little bit different and I can show you guys and we can do this together. We're in this together. One more tip. I would not make the paper that you're putting on your shirt any more than 8 by 10 simply because, like I said, it's not comfortable. So imagine if you had a long one. Like for me, this, it's fine. Like it's bearable um this part just kind of sticks out 
but if it was longer and it was going all the way down to your chest i know that you would be walking crazy you can walk in this this is flexible you can move in it you can party in it okay but yeah so thank you guys all for all your support honestly i am shook by how much support i am getting and i love you all and i thank you all so so much for supporting me for subscribing for sharing for liking for commenting for everything that you guys do so stay tuned i have so much in store for you and please 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 like share subscribe and comment and let me know what you want to see i can give you what you want to see if you let me know so